All right. Drake decides to end his business relations with a cannabis company in this multi-million dollar breakdown. So two years ago, Drake created his own company called More Life Growth Company. He decided to partner with Canopy Growth Corporation, which is also a cannabis company. Basically, in this deal, Drake was the majority owner and would receive 60% ownership, while Canopy would receive 40% ownership. When they inked the deal in November of 2019, Drake even went on to comment that the opportunity to partner with a world-class company like Canopy Growth on a global scale is really exciting. The idea of being able to build something special in an industry that is ever-growing has been inspiring. More life and more blessings. End quote. Even the CEO, Mark Zucklin, was quoted saying, When we first began talks with Drake, we were extremely inspired by and aligned with his vision to bring best-in-class cannabis products to the world. Drake's perspective as a culture leader an entrepreneur combined with Canopy's breadth of cannabis knowledge will allow our new company to bring an unmatched cannabis experience to global markets. All in all, we couldn't be more excited to partner with Drake to bring his vision for the More Life Growth Company to global cannabis markets. We anticipate a long, successful, and mutually beneficial working relationship. End quote. But... On Wednesday, June 2nd, they decided to go their own ways and end the business deal. Basically, both parties decided to terminate their sub-license agreement. In the end, Canopy would be taking a $8.6 million hit with this deal, but I'm sure something was agreed upon to soften the blow. Still not sure though if something went sour in the relationship or if it was something mutual for both parties involved. But that's all I have for now, and I'll keep you updated with any future changes. Like and subscribe for more hip-hop news.